Hey yo, hey yo, it's your boy Monster Man Rocco. It's your boy Swagger Rock. This is Snack Ripper. And keep you out for those who don't know. Master A, you are not rocking with the best. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records, man. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records Radio. Breaking Records. Breaking Records. Breaking Records Radio. Let's go. Breaking Records Radio. Press the five now. Now you check. Breaking records, man. Radio is like the place to be. I don't know. Fuck strange music, man. <laughs> and um, actually, kind of one thing you said too about pocket. Actually, you know, I think that's the same case for a lot of people, and it's like kind of the same thing that's happened with Nipsey as well, right? Like he was very respected on the West Coast, but I think maybe you right. know throughout the rest of you know the states and even here in Canada, he was known, but he wasn't like that dude, that dude, like, he was in L.A., and it kind of took for his uh, untimely passing for people to really, like, be like, yo, this dude was a genius. Right. Right. No, he was really good. And, I, and I'm not going to say that I was a huge Nipsey Hussle fan. Yeah. I'm not going to say I ever bought a Nipsey Hussle record. You know what I'm saying? But um, I had a homeboy, man, uh, in my hood, and he was fucking love Nipsey Hussle. And when he was done with all, we would rock to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's some dudes, it's some dudes that's word up behind that dude. That will tell you, like, yo, listen, man, cut that shit off. For real. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cut that shit off. But, this shit out of the road now. This shit is all right. This shit is kind of cruising. You know what I'm saying? This shit is cool. You know what I mean? And, and to, that, to that extent, and, um, yeah, you get a lot of people who, who kind of jump on the bandwagon after, after these things happen to people. Like, yeah, I would be a liar if I said that I was a huge two fan. He died in 96. I was, like, in the fifth, sixth grade. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't living the thug life. You know yeah, exactly. So, motherfuckers need to chill with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Let these people rest and appreciate their art for what it was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then just, and just, and just leave it like that. All these extra Tupac records and now they got other niggas on the songs now. And I'm like, I'm like destroying that man's legacy. Yeah, you know? it gets <laughs> super corny once it gets to that point. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think the last record that Tupac actually legitimately worked on is before that happened to him, I think it might have been Macafelli. Yeah, I would say the that. The last record that he actually completed, and I think that's his best fucking record to beat. A lot of people do, actually, too. And that's, like, that's a debate I get a lot. Like, um, because I personally, I really like, I don't know, they're all good for different reasons, but I think Me Against the World is really dope, too. I think it gets kind of yeah, overlooked a lot. Super dope album. Yeah, super dope I think album. it gets overlooked a lot. And even his first so album, Apocalypse Now. With, with Macavelli, he seemed a little uninstalled un 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 Macavelli. He seemed a little... I mean, he was always wild, but he seemed a little bit... He seemed like he was really free on that album. Not wild. He seemed like he was really free on that album. You know That's what I'm saying? true. Like, yeah, he, w he didn't try to appeal to nobody on that album. Like, he just went in there, right. pissed off, and did what he felt like doing. I feel that, but I, I would say a lot of people agree with you. I think a lot of people say Machiavelli or I, All Eyes on Me would be one of would be his best. I, I knew this kid in in junior high school. The one kid that I knew that had a two pack out, and it was Machiavelli. And yeah, he walk around with his pants on the radio playing the tape all fucking day long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. One kid, a kid named Arthur. He was a fucking blind here. Fucking green eyes, straight up white boy, dude. <laughs> he fucking loved Tupac, bro. <laughs> Never forget that kid. He fucking loved Tupac. You know what I'm saying? When, when we we over here wasn't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's that West Coast shit. You know what I'm saying? But this kid loved fucking Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> Shout outs to Arthur, man, you know what I'm saying? Spreading that Tupac. <laughs> Damn, man. I think it was, he was like, yo, nah, they ain't told me to turn my Tupac shit off. Like, and he wasn't even street. He was like, he was like in the suburbs and shit, like mom and dad and shit, you know what I'm saying? He'd sit down and eat dinner and shit. Of course, his parents hated that he lived in the fucking Tupac, but he didn't give a fuck. You know? <laughs> yeah, Tupac had a very, wide, a very large white audience, you know what I'm saying? Had yeah. Most rappers, too. Had most rappers. Yeah, 100%.